M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Thought I'd show this rear view of the FTDX101D thanks to Universal Radio. I think it's nice to see it close up here with a, a clear photograph. So antenna one, we'll go through the descriptions here. So number one, antenna jacks SO239 M type and antenna three is receive only. Okay, number two, external speaker jack. Number three, we have the Kia CW key jack. Number four, which is here, AF out audio jack. Number five is remote FH2 connector. Number six is the RTT data jack. Number seven is the ALC jack. Just here. Number eight, USB jack. I would say that's what you use for your FT8, but there is a CAT connector as well, external computer, computer controls. I'm sure you can use that too. You've got your linear collect connection here at number 16. Let's keep in order, 12. Uh, number 11, let's find that. External display, is that correct? No, number 10. Number 10, external display here, DVI port. Yeah, I'm using that now. Looks very nice. 12. Follow it carefully. 13.8 volt, it says there. I'm guessing that's to do with an amplifier. I've never used amplifiers before. 13 is external PTT jack. That's what 13 is, just following these lines. Ah, that's interesting. Again, I would say needed for your external amplifier. 14, TX ground. TX ground here, there you go. 15, tuner. Quite involved when you connect a tuner, isn't it? 16, linear amplifier connection. RX out A and B on 17. Oh, that's interesting. So you have a receiver out there as well. I wonder if that can be used on like an SDR device. And then RX out B, again on 17. DC in, your main power. Ground at 19, which I highly recommend you use. So there you go, learning the Yesu FTDX101 rear panel. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in even closer. Bye for now, look at that fan. And apparently the fan needs to be a certain size. So anyway, bye for now, 7-3, all the best.